Thank you for waiting. Mr. Goldman's in X-ray at the moment. He should be back shortly. Why was he transported here? Well, from what we know, there wasn't much time to make a decision. Paramedics made the call to do so. Do we know what the problem is? Once he's returned, the doctor will go over the results with him. Please have a seat, or if you'd like, there's a cafeteria on the second floor. In the future, transport instructions are to be followed. The hospital in which he belongs is well aware of the care he should receive. In a perfect situation, that is ideal. But, the understanding is whenever the patient suffers an emergency, time's of the essence. He is not to be taken here. I'll have my secretary get in touch with the appropriate people. Write down the number of who should be contacted for this matter. No problem. Did you wait long? If I said yes, that would only upset your current state. Not really. Richard, I can't get any worse than I already feel. Sore, crippled and old is where I'm at today, but don't feel sorry for me. I had a great run. This bump ticker's giving me trouble again. It's going down the tubes. They prescribe heart medication for a reason. It's time you believe you need it. I hate taking pills. Your mother couldn't make me. Every moment of her life she tried. What makes them think they can? And this is why you're in the predicament you're in. Who cares? I'm waking up every day, and I'm not looking good for other people. I'm comfortable. Anyway, who wants to be chained to beds, doctor's appointments, hospital stays, injections, ugly nurses, and pills? If you want to live, you will do what it takes. Maybe I don't. So, you can't think of one reason to go on? By the way, Jasmine would have accompanied me but she's out of town. It's okay. A woman of her caliber, hardworking, caring, loving, she's extremely busy. What are you implying? Don't get so defensive, Richard. And scale down your tone to me, I am not one of your interns. She is faithful, right? Is there any other man on this planet better? No. They don't make them like me anymore. You're my son. Of course not. Then what are we talking about? Exactly. You better hope to see my age. This generation's full of molly popping bimbos. Undercover booty bandits. Everyone. They're all sleeping with the same person. It's crazy. Some of them are not nice guys and sweet young ladies. They're gang members and coke heads. I wouldn't know. I'm too busy. Making trips to the bank. And busy standing your father up as well. Now is not the time. It never is. But it's all wreck. I'm sure that's a promise. 
Looks like we're the only ones here. For now, it's almost three in the morning. Well, I told them not to bother you. That's not how I have it set up. Apparently my request was too late. Someone else could have helped. I'm the only emergency contact listed. Maybe I should revise that. Who will replace me? I still speak to your uncle. He has an amputated leg. Blind in one eye. Takes more medication than you, and never leaves his home. So what? Nothing ever stopped that man from doing what he wanted. That was then. This is now. Your uncle had wrinkled hats, shoes, totally inconsiderate with bad hygiene. Had a lot of butter on his teeth too. Although, he was good to us. Bought you your first tricycle. An expensive gorgeous red beauty it was. All the kids in the neighborhood were jealous. Remember your first ride on it? I'm not interested in memory lane. Of course not. That would require you to feel what us humans do. Either way, you'll have to abide by doctor's orders. It's your life, not mine. Oh, I know. You'd rather be at the office making money. I don't dispute you know me well. Like a book. But I'm here, right? Reluctantly. I'm sure of it. Wrong. You have to make sure you're not scratching and surviving. I took a page out of that book you know me by. Of course. Leadership and guidance comes with the responsibility of hard decisions, delegation, criticism. Correct. Nothing's more important. The Dumas family has a lot of damn nerve. Douglas should dig up their bones. They have no authority whatsoever. Not like you do when it comes to business morality or integrity. No argument there. But, don't worry about me, I can handle them. He never knows when I'm going to strike next. I worry. That's what fathers do. But as for the media, the powers that be, always remember. You will know who your oppressors are, based on who you are allowed to criticize, versus those whom you are not. Truer words have never been spoken. Which is why I'm finally in position to do exactly what I want. I don't ask for money, power, or respect. I take it. Preach son I hear them knocking. But they can't come in. Fucking right. They're attempting to take me down, the feds, competition, news outlets, but it won't work. I'm proud of you, son. You're one of the wealthiest men in the country. You don't take no shit. Just make sure. They don't bring you to this hospital again. Douglas is on the board of directors here. What difference does it make? Think about it. With everything going on, does it sound like a good idea to you? Well, if I'm dying, what do you suggest? Sacrifice minutes of my life to please my son. So typical of you, Richard. You will not 
have a life. Because they'll kill you. I wish they would. Why? Lay it out there. Because you're my father. Understand? Okay, son. Point taken. My secretary will straighten this out. So, speaking of secretaries, what's her name? I have many. Thousands of employees across the planet, to be exact. The one who's also your personal assistant. Valencia. Why? She came to see me. Yes, indeed. She paid me a two-hour visit equipped with my favorite cheeseburger, fries and a chocolate milkshake. What can I say? She knows what she's doing. Is that so? You're the one with the inside scoop. No pun intended. She takes her job seriously. I bet. Are things going on besides the obvious investigation frivolous nonsense? What'd she say? She vaguely expressed concern for your mental capacity. Ridiculous. My point exactly. Her conversation went on I couldn't stop her. About? She didn't go into detail really. I can read between lines. The urgency in her voice was palpable. Interesting. What's interesting is she's obviously in love with you. She and my wife work well together. That's it. I find that hard to believe. I know what goes on. You don't. Look. Her services are no longer required if she's out here talking reckless. She means well. Only one can speculate. But her behavior is out of line. You have to ask yourself. Who else is she talking to this way? You're fucking that nice piece of ass good, aren't you, son? No. Get off it. You don't have to lie to me. I taught you every trick in the Goldman Handbook. I'm married anyway, it's pointless. I love my wife. And... You and every other happily married person who's neglected and bored shitless for many years. You don't reach the level of success Jasmine and I accomplished. By climbing in the bed, every hour. True enough. But... I'm quite sure your dick works better than ever before. Your prime steak. Cream of the crop. I saw the look and desperation in that woman's eyes. I can't afford to jeopardize Goldman oil and everything I'd established. Oh, but you have, son. She was way too emotional. I know what these things look like. You have a lot of my ways. You do, whether you like it or not. You were born in South Carolina. We spent great years operating my businesses there. Then, we left, raised you in London. It was difficult. Your mother... And I made it through any weapon formed against us. You made a wonderful life for yourself. All you need is children. 
in time. I want you to have the real life you deserve. Done. Treating your wife with dignity, love, and respect, not making the same mistakes I did. God rest your mother's undying soul. That woman was really good to us. Jasmine reminds me of her. I gather that's why you chose her. Son, one thing that is absolute, as a black person, in any society, any day and age, the suffering, the silence, the outrage, is still deafening. Today's a new day. Change what is not right, son, before it's too late. Are you happy because that's the best I can do considering? Yes dear, I'll take what I can get at this rate. Good. I guess I can forgive you for last night. This romantic swan ride's wonderful. Relaxing. I'm proud of you for being open to leaving our phones in the car. Speaking of overrated devices, why can't they stop updating your phone? Get an Android. We do what we want. I guess, if that's the way you see it. Well, it's certainly my pleasure doing something nice for you today. Nine hours ago. It wasn't supposed to hurt. Don't remind me. I tried. You have to be gentle. Haven't you ever heard of that? Beautiful women always think they know what they want, right? Until they're faced with the reality of what they've received. In defense, I can't find my prescription glasses. News flash, you don't wear any of your readers even if your life depended on it, Andrew. I don't complain when you help yourself to my possessions. You don't. That's why I adore you. A little more sugar for the best wife ever. However, back to the subject at hand. I'm not a teenager anymore, darling. You said it. Excuse me. Something wrong. Watch it. What? Do you enjoy your life, Mr. Welch? You still look young and gorgeous just like high school. Yeah. Put those sexy lips right here. Very nice, darling. I'm always up for a little foreplay. So? I'm listening. You don't have to worry about that, Andrew. Your sales pitch is impeccable. My queen. That's why I married you. Best decision ever made. Thank you for the morale booster. Of course. And those colors look lovely on you, Madeline. You are really trying to make up for last night and want round two, don't you? Pretty much. Can I get the kitty cat again or do over indeed? Oh how I never want this man to go away. I love you babe always know that. Yeah, now that's the energy that gets me going. Anyway, he's a potential client. His family's full of investment bankers some of which I had the pleasure of doing business with in 04. For decades the Goldmans have a vested interest in their expertise. True. Everyone's money's green. My only motivation. 
Richard knows them quite well. And this is the same man who fought in Vietnam, dealt with the Food and Drug Administration negatively, few years back. Unfortunately. Who doesn't like the sound of big money moving? Yes. Let's think about that one. Wait for it. Invisible drumroll please. Go for it we got time. No one. Chi Ching's the sound to a blissful life of peace and prosperity. That's right. Slap em low for now. A group of broke people discussing others is nothing more than a non-profit organization. I couldn't have said it better. Yeah. People can say what they want, he's the epitome of buy low sell high. We've maneuvered the same. Easy as pie. True. Due to his team's recent scandal, once they release the names on the panel, we should re-evaluate our dealings with him. Fair to say his fears came to fruition. I know. Never throw good money after bad. I agree my love. Why people insist on going against basic grassroot principle. Baffling. Are you kidding? The construction guy I keep hearing about. Is he a foreman? Negative. Is he at least in the union? I'm not sure. Of course you know Helen tells you everything. She does her own thing. I told her what I thought. I really have to talk to her. If she pays her own bills forget it, she's not listening to you or any other man telling her what to do. That's the problem darling. I agree to a certain extent. She doesn't want to be lonely. No one does. She owns a successful medical practice and therapy group. It might be out of our hands. When she ends this game with him, the entire operation of insanity stops. You're right, honey. Years ago I knew a woman with a similar past. Needless to say, she boarded the first greyhound smoking, abandoning a life of chaos, confusion and murder. A fresh start. Women look so much more happier when they leave. Helen has to wake up. She ought to follow suit. Exactly. Having her somewhere driving reckless, cause he hurt her feelings. I won't spend energy around low vibrational people. Right. After work she needs to come home and sleep it off. They're not done playing. Let's be honest. I bet I know his life. Who really wants to be with someone with a phone full of dead folks and burnt bridges? Come on. Eating her out of house and home five years from now. Yeah. The thought kills me. Dreadful. Absolutely. Helen told me Richard's secretary attended one of her therapy sessions recently. Interesting. Very. She pretended she wasn't aware of the association. Watched the woman lose her marbles right then and there. In front of men and women. That's usually how it works Madeline. Tragic. I wonder what they discussed. You and I both, but she won't violate her attendees' confidentiality under any circumstance. Bullshit. Break out your checkbook. You might have to pay handsomely for the information. You mean yours. You have your own accounts. That's what I'm saying. Not quite my love. Either way Helen has got to know this won't end happily. He claims to be faithful but there's signs pointing otherwise. I see. What are we getting at here? As in trustworthy. I must say I'm surprised. You and her are so much alike. True. She's my... Twin. I know honey. It's uncanny. If she wants to give a man a lifetime of perfect service in exchange for a cheap ceramic plate, that isn't personalized she'll have to learn the hard way. Just makes me think, in the south. Women were taken into shabby dark sheds. Their brains fucked out of their skulls. Eleven ways till Sunday. Let the fun bags and eggplant come out fun has commenced. I can almost see and smell its pleasantries. Andrew are you serious? They were getting to the business that's all I'm saying. I swear what have I married? I was simply recognizing serious happenings Madeline I didn't do it to them, jeesh. Stop it. Why?
Don't. Loosen up. I'm just speaking my mind. Try not to forget this is supposed to be romantic, Andrew. Let's not lose focus. I don't what it is, but your sweet ass is turning me on. Down boy, down boy, put your slurping tongue back in. Lay it on your husband, my urge is a haywire, I can hardly wait. You'll have to. Please control the bulge out in public like this. As you were stating. Well, it's just. Helen doesn't have to settle for his barbarian caveman archaic ways of doing things. Agreed. Douglas said it in a shadily fashion. Yeah. The nerve thinking he's better. And shadily. Andrew that word isn't in the dictionary but I hear what you're saying. If I use the damn word it's where I say it is. Get past it. Proceed. Once again forgetting. To cut the check looking me directly in the eyes with those foggy bifocals talking wild shit. I don't know how much longer we can go on with their shenanigans. When it's paid they pay well. But stringing us along for our hard-earned ducats. Constantly. When I talk to Sophia all is peachy like she has no clue. Bragging about how good of a father Douglas is and all they've accomplished. Indirectly of course. I'm sure. They only show us what they want us to see. One of these days. I'm going to tell her ass off. They love to piss on our heads and tell us it's raining. Two wrinkled prunes with a hardcore agenda trying to make us look soft. We're not. Trust me, darling. Far from it. Douglas just standing there confident giving me shit with his demeanor like don't dare threaten him. Wow. Who gives a cockadoodle do what they think? Their boring business ventures, they can go fuck themselves to death. Royally. Without any Vaseline. <laughs> Now I know why I married you. I'm so fucking serious. Talk to us. I pretended to care about Sophia getting roasted and disrespected on daytime. The satisfaction was absolutely magnificent. It was quite sad, but can't say I hated it either. People get what they deserve. Douglas and his rug heads completely full of himself. It's crazy. No one cares how many buildings or yachts he bought. That's his real hair. So what? You hate to be wrong. Sorry, sweetheart. Then go over there and fuck him since you have a thing for the liar. Oh, please. I wouldn't under any circumstance grace his ass with the most scrumptious thing he could ever have. I'm waiting for a better answer, my little snuggle bunny. I think I might be pregnant. What? Get out of town. Yes, darling. Smack me with a cantaloupe. Are you serious? <laughs> We'll see who's laughing tonight at 3 a.m. Oh, honey. You know I love you. Always. There's no other man on this planet for me except you. Keep talking. And your hair looks way better. Full, natural, you're an awesome provider, sexy, everything a woman dreams of. All is forgiven. It better be if you want this the right way tonight. You drive me crazy but I can't think of one person I'd rather be with here right now. You're the entire package, mind, body and soul. You're the greatest thing that's ever happened to my life. Thank you for saying that. I love you Mrs. Welch. I love you too. This is utterly ridiculous. I'm trapped. Like the rat that just scurried past my foot. Take the dumb coat off. Let's talk business, shall we? Excuse me. No. There are no excuses for what you did. I see. It's my turn now. Is that the plan, Joe? You're up a creek's ass without a pedal. Not hardly. 
You got yourself into big willy trouble. You ought to worry about a plan to rise above this mess. And it's Mr. Williams to you. Don't you forget it. It's gonna be a long night. You betcha. You got arrested outside the Goldman's penthouse. Security escorted your old ass right up out of the lobby there, didn't they? I'm not playing these mind games with you. Where's my phone call I need to reach my wife? Let's get the shit straight right now. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Stop right there. Recognize who you are speaking to. People are fucking with my nerves already. Bad move on your part. I understand you work for Richard now. What are you doing here? Picking up extra hours. What the hell is it to you? I asked a simple question. No need to stick your chest out. You're not my boss never in a million years. Unfortunately. Oh man is he talking to me. You right now soldier. Drop and give me twenty. No. Arthritis and spasms fucks me up too. Lapse in medication again? Here we go. Take it easy. Question that suit you're wearing. Not me. Listen. Handle your business if you think it'll do you some good. You have to unlock the door first. Why? It will end bad for you. I'm very important to a lot of people. A man of great means. I don't have to put my hands on anyone. So you say. It isn't necessary. Doesn't matter. I kick ass and take names Douglas. Good for you. Don't patronize me, I got shit on my mind, damn it. Prints are way too small on my pill bottles even for glasses shit, man. You and I both got problems, now get me to a phone. I have seniority regardless. All it took was one call from Mr. Goldman. Presto. I've been called to duty to take care of light work. It's obvious he sent you to torture me. Damn right it serves you for disturbing a great man. By the way, who's got more power than you will ever have? What's he paying you, Joe? I'll triple it. Blackmail will cost you months, even years in this awful place. I'll take it, if you walk away right now. My guy from the small city, Mr. Big Shot. Would you like some coffee? No. Come on, I was being nice, you ungrateful bum off skid row. I'll tear you off something nice, real extra big boy. I'm a bum from skid row? Never. Then get to the point on how you are getting out of here. Brings us back to what I need, doesn't it? Did I inform you of who asks the questions around here? Did I? Get on with it. Richard's making a killing on cryptocurrency. Did you know that? And what are you making? Plenty. I doubt that. You think you know me. And I don't do this. If only you knew Mr. Duma. 
I'm better than you think. I am. Sure. Better learn people. Before you love them. Solid advice. I don't know about you but my worst fears. Catching my old lady cheating and her lover beats my ass. Imagine that. Do you have the same fear? I would have been better off in a Mexican prison. Possibly. However, on another note, I watch the news. I see your commercials. All of those happy people singing, smiling and shit. What are you trying to do? I see right through it. Then you're a smart man. You're monitoring our progress. He's good. We sell the best quality oil one could ever buy. Prestige services from premium to affordable. We work for the American people. And you have a right to be heard by the private citizens of this country and a duty to them. Right? Your words. And ours as well. Oh stop with the fluff brown nosing bullshit wanting us to get into you. No. Just stating facts. As a black strong company, our mission's clear. You're not on a Hollywood audition, damn you. It's a privilege to be alive, the air you're breathing, to see sights with your own two eyes. How would you know? We don't operate the same. Trust me. I understand perfectly. I know what goes on in these prison streets and on civilian soil. The fake politicians play golf, eat seafood, sex their gay lovers, talk fabricated shit to the American people, then go somewhere and laugh at you. Believe it or not you're not informing me of anything I don't already know. Interesting. Barely. But I'll tell you what is. Kick it to me. All I want to know is when will this elongated misery and pain cease? Good question. Because it amazes me how long you're able to go, how long you're willing to meet the criteria to fulfill the depths of your attack against me. I agree. I could use a hand here. And a stiff damn drink, listening to you talks unbearable. Until you stop blaming the Goldmans for your shortcomings. Shit won't change. Phone call. Now. Boy am I glad to see your lovely beautiful face. Say something. Douglas. You left and went straight there. Something in my gut knew. I know. I come out fighting like a bulldog if anyone threatens my family. You're still the strong courageous man I married. And I'm more proud now than ever before. Although. I lost it. I couldn't stop myself. You were certainly not thinking, going over there like that. You're right. I wasn't. No, you weren't. Is Taylor okay? Yes, she is. I spoke with her right before I arrived. Good. I just wanted to discuss what happened. Simple. News outlets, social media and whoever else wants to be a part of a spectacle will be all over this. We don't need this kind. Bad publicity is never good, I don't care what people say. Absolutely. Major negative effect in the long run. We'll be fine. 
I'll make a few phone calls. I understand why you did it. Our home now looks like a dumpster site. Trashed. Destroyed. I'm not going to lay down and take this. That's what I'm afraid of. I'll get in touch with private investigators. The legal route. Do things the right way. I have your back 100%. We do everything together. I love you so much, Sophia. I love you too. Let's not say too much more. I paid the bail. Paperwork's all set. You just have to collect your belongings. Thank you.